Welcome back to our channel, guys. We're Richie, Laura, Frankie and Freddie, and you join us on week seven of our European tour. We started in Barcelona and have mainly been working our way around the Spanish coast. This week, we make a brief visit to Seville, catch our first Spanish carp and try to cross the border into Portugal, as well as celebrating my birthday. We hope you enjoy it and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. So we left the lake park up yesterday and um, we came to this one pretty near Seville. Um, it's a free park up just outside Dos Semanas, I think it's called. Um, and we're going to make our way into the outskirts of Seville. We, we can't get actually in there because of the ULEZ. Um, so we're going to get in the campsite and then have a little mooch about in Seville today. So this is the campsite we just pulled up to this morning. Quite possibly, <laughs> quite possibly the worst campsite we've ever stayed on. It looks disgusting. But we're just outside of Seville. It's 10 euros and we're now waiting for a bus to go into Seville. And it only takes 20 minutes to get into Seville from the bus, so it's not too bad. 20 minute bus ride. I haven't been on a bus for probably 10 years, I reckon. <laughs> so we'll see what today's like, see what Seville's like. Looking forward to it. So we're off the bus and now we're getting on the metro. They've been busting to stand up on the metro. No pads. Woo. We also had a bit of a result on the bus as well. We only had a 50 euro note so they let us all for free where they didn't have to change. So we're here. That's the Ville Cathedral right there. So pretty, really pretty. I will show you around. So this is how you get around Seville. Where are we going to drive? So all of our little legs are aching walking around Seville. So what better way is there to see Seville than on horse and car? <laughs> Brilliant. Excellent. <laughs> On the main road now. So the pronunciation may be wrong, but I think this is the Plaza de España. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. Even better when we're going around to the horse. Don't let not walk in. <laughs> you get a bit stressful trying to find these places on foot. Mm. Now it's very good. The Plaza de España is a huge 50,000 square metres and is one of Seville's most impressive buildings. The construction started in 1914 and was completed in 1928 in time for the Ibero-American Exposition in 1929 to show off Spain's accomplishments in industry and architecture. In front of the building is a 500 metre canal with four bridges, then the plaza itself in the middle. 
The size of the building will blow you away and is definitely a must see if you visit Seville. a big roundabout, plenty of cars and buses on a horse and car, as you do. <laughs> been a disaster. And the boys really enjoyed it. The so boys have had a good day. we're gonna go home. The okay. temperature is meant to be going up um, for the rest of the week. So tomorrow we're gonna head back to the lake, some barbecue food, a few beers and relax I think. Not only that, Frankie has got a headache, Freddie has got a headache, I've got a bit of a headache. Laura causes our headache. I'm really joking. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're heading back, we're gonna cook some food up, get in the warm. Might even put a film on tonight. We're back on the lake. We didn't stay in Seville as long as we'd have liked to. Fred weren't feeling very well. Um, plus we was on a campsite where we had to get a bus and a metro into Seville. So we would have liked to have stayed for a bit longer, but it would have just worked out a bit expensive. So we ended up getting away from there. We did have a nice day there. Um, so yeah, we're back here. We're just chilling out. We've got a little fire going on. We're gonna cook some burgers. Just have a little relax, really. And the weather's been lovely, really nice. And not only that, we've just done a van tour. A lot of you will be pleased to know. We've been asked about this quite a few times on YouTube in the comments and stuff. So. We finally got round to doing it. So yeah, now we're just gonna have a nice chilled evening, a couple of beers, a nice barbecue, and just chill out. We'll catch up with you tomorrow. See you later. Go on, Frankie, he's got one. Go on. Right, Frankie, nice and calm. Remember, keep your rod up high. Oh, come in. Come here, buddy boy. That's it, nice and calm, lift the rod up, then reel it down. That's it, lift it up. That's it, nice and calm. Go on, bub. Good catch. Come here, boy. <laughs> oh well done little man can you flip it up a little bit that's it look at that nice cat go on fred lift it up good boy good boy <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice. Well done, boys. So as if we haven't got enough pets in the van already. Look at this. <laughs> So what happened? Um, I was, I was trying to get it out, um, because it looked like it was stuck with a stick, but it just didn't move at all. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab it, and I grabbed it. Well, he seems to like you. <laughs> We're keeping him, are we? Yeah. Let's yeah. let's just nurse him back to health, and we can set him free. Yeah. Definitely. What are we gonna call him? Jeff. Jeff? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah. You are right, Jeff? What's happened? <laughs> it's a right mad van, this one. You want a ham and cheese sandwich, Jeff? <laughs> Call him Philadelphia. What are they doing? There you are. Hello. There you go. It's definitely a big bird. Let us know in the comments if it's a seagull or an albatross. Got a bit on me. Bit of sugar water, see if we can make him a bit better. Can I open your mesh? It's gonna pick you. Oh. So you've got little hopsy out, having a little nibble. Enjoying the sun. And then we have a poor little injured Jeff. Come on, Jeff, you can make it. I don't think Lou's going to be too happy there's a seagull in her bed. So, after Jeff being really ill when we took him in, we gave him some sugared water throughout the day. He was in um, Luna's bed for most of the day and when the kids finally went in to check on him, he finally felt that he was ready to go. Um, he took off through their legs and uh, we, didn't, we didn't really get to say goodbye. Scared the absolute life, Scared the absolute life out of the kids. <laughs> but we're glad to see that Jeff's made a full recovery. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Go on, Jeff. You warrior. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary time. She does like a cocktail. So this is what it's like at a Spanish lake on a weekend. All the families come out, all the friends. There's a little drone meeting going on over there. Drones whizzing about above us. There's people fishing. We're having a little fish ourselves. There's cars everywhere. And then there's Laura <laughs> with her scrubbing board. <laughs> Just wringing out the pants and the socks. I did say wait until the washing machine, but she insisted. You right, Hops? Hops, he's been taken out. Yes, that's nice. So many, uh, so many families. They've got caravans, camper vans, cars, motorbikes. They all love it, nice get together. So, it's Laura's birthday today and the boys have made her a little card. Let's have a look, boys. You can't really see Fred, but he has actually drawn in it and on it. There's Frankie's. Some lovely words in there as well. So, should we wake her up? Yeah. Let's do it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. 
Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Give me cuddle. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, she's an oldie. <laughs> I'm not an oldie. 31. 31. Congratulations. you got a toy boy again. Oh, shut up, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! So it's Laura's birthday today. I don't think we're going to be doing a great deal though because the weather's looking lovely. And as a lot of you know, she's a sun worshipper. So I think today we're going to go down to the beach, have a couple of cocktails and enjoy the sun. And then we'll treat her to her nails maybe tomorrow or the next day. Cheers, birthday girl. Cheers. Is it yours or mum's birthday? Mine. It looks like yours. Mm. They look good. So this is where we woke up this morning. We are in Donana National Park. Literally, there's no one about for miles, but there's loads of flamingos. You can't really see them on here at the minute. And a German Shepherd. Really nice, quiet spot. It's not the best quality. But they're all flamingos. It's a four by four when you have super cab. <laughs> this track's about four miles long to get to the flamingos. Bit of a mission, but definitely worth it. We've just left our park up in Doyana National Park. Um, we're heading to Huelva. Um, we're going to try and get the dog's Titus tester. And I'm going to try and get my nails done today for my birthday. And we're going to go and try and have something nice to eat. Um, but yeah, that park up was really, really nice. Um, and the weather has just been amazing this last week. Um, I think it's been about 20, 21. So it's nice oh to uh, just be able to relax and chill out for a bit. So we'll catch up when we get to Huelva. So we made it to Huelva on the way to get our na my nails done. Can't wait. It's been a long two months without my nails being done. So the boys are having a little play in the park while we wait for Laura to get her nails done. Really nice park. I 
And then it's time for the wine to go and have our Titus test, hey Lulu? Hey. So is she happy with her new nails? Well, they're not like the English ones, but they'll do. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Oh, Lulu hates the vets. So, Lulu's had her Titus test done. It was 125 euros. Um, and we'll get the results in 11 days. But she didn't like it. Well, she, she wasn't too bad. She was really good. But she's feeling a bit sorry for herself, aren't you, Dudu's? You feeling sorry for yourself now? So tonight she's gonna have a pork chop for dinner. <laughs> oh, you lucky girl! <laughs> Lily, want pork chop? Why we <laughs> going in for a Chinese? It looks like a Chinese buffet. It was really good. How good's this? A little robot to bring your drinks over. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks. Thank you. Yes, yes. Can you get the drinks? What's that? Yeah. And it goes back for the next drinks. <laughs> and there's also a pond in the Chinese restaurant. experience of shopping in Marche in Portugal. So the boys have gone in to do that and I am here with Kev doing the laundry outside. <laughs> Perfect. Just wish it was a bit sunny. Do you lotion and get suntan at the same time? That's it for this week guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Join us next week as we spend our first week in Portugal, working our way along the southern coast of the Algarve, including some of the best beaches we have ever seen. We love hearing from you all, so if there's anything you would like to see or know, leave it in the comments and we'll get back to all of you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe.